Hi folks, it's Sid here from Border Archery. Um, a quick video to try and uh, demonstrate the differences between a CV2, a CV5 and a CV9. Now if, <clears throat> on a scale of 1 to 10, if 1 is conventional and 10 is let off, then we have a 2, a 5 and a 9. Okay, so the 2 is a um, string walking limb. Um, it's uh, kind of akin to the hex six, and uh, it's it's a very smooth drawing limb. Uh, the conventional is about two point one pounds gained per inch. These are only two pounds gained. Then we have the uh, CV five which um, this particular one is a wood core um, because all of our limbs come in either hyperflex or wood i thought i'd do the irony and put it in a backdrop of bamboo uh, flooring which is used in bow making as a bamboo core um, we use bamboo flooring as flooring because bamboo makes no difference um, so anyway um, the cv5 is a one pound gain um, so it's a buttery buttery smooth a uh, big hook as you can see there is a lot of string wrap on it um, and that that gives you the smoothness whereas the CV2 has less string wrap and then we have the well the no pound gain um, CV9 which has um, huge amounts of string wrap to it um, this is our most powerful limb. Um, we'd say if you were to brand limbs into marketing classes, we'd say it's a, a target limb, a field limb, and a hunting limb. All right, so hopefully that will help you understand the differences. Now we do the same layup <coughs> um, in the Covert Hunter bolt down uh, range, except the CV9 changes to a hex 9. The Black Douglas, although we've discontinued that model just over a year ago now, we still make the CV2 and CV5 limb for the Black Douglas. All right. The Ursa limb, which is compatible with the famous latch system um, from a brand that we can't mention, called we call it the Fuzzy Omnivore. Um, we make a compatible limb which is based on the CV five okay so that's our limb line up um we're three minutes in so not too bad we could go into lots of detail but any questions stick it in the questions below all right cheers bye